In a changing world, it is imperative to know how quickly species can adapt to changes in the environment. So some traits and behaviors are at least partially controlled by genetics, and these can be acted on by evolution. Now, evolution isn't just the big changes in form and function that you can see in the fossil record. It's also small changes, like changes in the gene frequencies in the population of a single species. This evolution is rapid. It can happen in one generation. For my research, I'd like to determine if there's rapid evolution on breeding date in the song sparrow population of Mandardi Island. Now, there are three requirements for evolution by natural selection to occur. First is that there's variation. We definitely have this. Some birds breed early, others breed late. Second is that there are fitness differences associated with this variation. For example, early birds have more offspring. Together, these two components, variation and fitness differences, are called natural selection. The third requirement for evolution to occur is heritability. So there has to be some genetic component that is passed from parents to offspring. So if breeding date is heritable, early mothers will tend to produce early daughters. Now let's go back to selection. So several studies of selection in the wild have found that selection varies in strength and direction over time. If this were the case in our system, some years early birds would be favored, and in other years late birds would be favored. Now, we do see some variation in selection over time, but something else also changes over time, and that's population size. In the past 36 years on Mandardi Island, we've had some years with about 70 breeding females, and we've had other years after population crashes with only four females. Now, when population size is low, chance variation can have a big influence on results. So most of the variation that we see in selection is actually due to chance and changing population size. Although we don't have much variation in selection, we do have consistent selection. So birds that breed early do produce more offspring because they're able to have more successful nests in a single year. And these chicks that hatch early are also bigger when the next winter comes, so they're more likely to survive the winter and become breeders themselves the next year. Surprisingly, there isn't a survival cost to these parents for this high level of reproduction. Now, this could be due to something in the environment or some effect of territory quality, so that's what I need to explore next. I need to determine if breeding date is heritable. So I need to separate the effects of genes and the environment. Since we have pretty consistent selection for early breeding, if it is heritable, we would expect the genes for early breeding to increase in the population. And then we would have rapid evolution. Thank you.